moments and what do you want to get a fight with him is that if the money is right i mean 100 million dollars i heard i heard turkey you offered so you a big money the boxing world is buzzing with speculation as tensions rise between terence crawford and canelo alvarez Crawford's recent performance against Israel Madrimov, though successful, has set the stage for what could be one of the most significant bouts in boxing history. However, the potential showdown with Canelo comes with a hefty price tag $150 million to be exact. This demand from Canelo has sparked debates and raised questions about whether the fight will actually happen. Crawford's dominant win over Medramov was seen by many as a top-tier performance, but it also revealed some vulnerabilities. Despite this, the talk of a fight with Canelo has gained momentum, especially after rumors circulated that His Excellency Turkey Al Sheikh, a prominent figure in organizing high-profile boxing events, had already offered Canelo a substantial sum to make the fight happen. The figure, a staggering $150 million, which Canelo sees as fitting for what he considers a possible retirement fight. Canelo, known for his usual payday of around $35 million, isn't willing to take a pay cut, especially for a fight that he believes he could win easily. Despite criticism from various quarters, including boxing legend Mike Tyson, Canelo remains firm on his price. He believes that if he's going to step into the ring with Crawford, it has to be worth his while financially. As Canelo put it, if the money is right, I'm in. Canelo's confidence in an easy win stems from his belief in his superiority at his weight class. At 168 pounds, Canelo sees himself as untouchable, even by a fighter as skilled as Crawford. He respects Crawford's abilities but feels that the fight wouldn't be as challenging as others might think. In an interview with Sway Universe, Canelo remarked, Don't get me wrong, he's a great fighter, but for me in my weight class, it's an easy fight. Easy money. Crawford, on the other hand, is eager for a big fight and the substantial paycheck that comes with it. After his win against Madrimov, Crawford called out Canelo, but Canelo made it clear that he would only fight if his price was met. Crawford's frustration is palpable. He believes that Canelo's demand for $150 million is a way to duck the fight without outright saying no. Canelo is trying to avoid me, plain and simple, Crawford stated during a press conference. Asking for $150 million? Come on, that's just a way to get out of the fight without saying no. I'm ready to fight him anytime, anywhere. He's the one making excuses. Turkey Al Sheikh, who organized the Riyadh season event where Crawford fought Medramov, may find Canelo's asking price too steep. If that's the case, he might push Crawford towards a fight with Jerron Boots Ennis, who is considered the next biggest fight for Crawford. The alternative could be Crawford facing the winner of the WBC Jr. middleweight clash between Sari Bahatchek and Virgil Ortiz Jr., or even WBC Jr. middleweight champion Sebastian Fundora. However, the most lucrative option for Crawford, if the Canelo fight falls through, remains a bout with Ennis. Canelo's team, led by his trainer and manager Eddie Reynoso, insists that no official offer has been made for a fight with either David Benavidez or Crawford. Reynoso stated that negotiations for such high-profile fights take time and depend on various conditions being met. Amidst these negotiations, Crawford fired back at Canelo's demand for an astronomical payday, accusing him of dodging the fight. I've been in this game for a long time, Crawford said. I'm always ready to step up. If Canelo thinks he can take me easily, let's get in the ring and find out. Stop hiding behind money. If Turkey El Sheikh offers Crawford the same amount of money for fighting Fundora or the Ortiz Bahacek winner as he would make from a pay-per-view fight against Ennis, it could influence Crawford's decision. The pressure is mounting, and fans are eager to see how these negotiations play out. While Crawford is ready and willing, Canelo's confidence remains unshaken. He's open to the fight, but only if the price is right. His belief that the fight would be easy, coupled with Crawford's recent performance against Medramov, fuels his stance. Despite Crawford's impressive record, Canelo doesn't see the payday as justified. Crawford is a great fighter, Canelo reiterated, but in my weight class, it's an easy fight. Meanwhile, the boxing world is also focused on Canelo's potential fight with David Benavidez.
Canelo has been dismissive of Benavidez, despite the hype surrounding the young fighter. Benavidez, known as the monster, has been called out by fans and boxing legends alike, including Mike Tyson, who questioned whether Canelo was avoiding the fight out of fear. Canelo's response was curt. I would respect Tyson's opinion if he was sober. Canelo's reluctance to fight Benavidez isn't new. He doesn't see Benavidez as bringing anything substantial to the table, aside from being 25 pounds heavier on fight night. It's not him because he has nothing to offer me, Canelo said. If one promoter comes and offers me $150 million to $200 million, I'll fight tomorrow. But the only thing Benavidez brings to the table is 25 pounds more on the night of the fight. Benavidez has been vocal about wanting to fight Canelo, but the fight remains elusive. Fans and experts believe Benavidez's size, speed, power, and aggressiveness could pose a real challenge for Canelo. Despite this, Canelo seems to be biding his time while Benavidez continues to improve. Canelo's history of taking on tough challenges is well documented. He made Gennady Golovkin wait two years before their first fight, and he doesn't feel the need to prove anything to anyone anymore. I don't need to fight anybody, Canelo said. I don't need to prove anything to anybody. I remember when you guys were always asking me for Golovkin, and then I fought Golovkin, and then it was Billy Joe Saunders, and then it was Caleb Plant. So never is enough for you guys. I've done everything in my career. This marks a shift from Canelo's earlier persona when he was more eager to take on challenges. Now, at 33, he seems more selective about his fights, focusing on what benefits him most. He surprised many by ending his three-fight deal with Al Heyman's premier boxing champions after just one fight and returned to secure the Jaime Munguia bout in a one-fight deal with PBC, which also represents Benavidez. Canelo's decision to fight Munguia instead of Benavidez or Crawford has led to criticism. Many believe that Canelo is ducking Benavidez, especially given Benavidez's status as a mandatory challenger at 168 pounds. Benavidez's team, including his manager, has been pushing for the fight, but Canelo remains non-committal. Turkey Al Sheikh's involvement in trying to secure the Canelo-Crawford fight adds another layer of intrigue. His offer to Canelo is substantial, but whether it's enough to get Canelo to agree to the fight remains to be seen. If the fight does happen, it would be a historic event, drawing massive viewership and generating significant revenue. For Canelo, it's about the money, and for Crawford, it's about proving himself against one of the best. The tension between Canelo and Benavides continues to build, with both sides making bold statements. Fans are left wondering if this highly anticipated fight will ever happen, or if Canelo's high price tag will keep it from becoming a reality. Meanwhile, Crawford is eager to step into the ring with Canelo, confident in his abilities and ready to prove the critics wrong. As Canelo prepares for his upcoming fight against Edgar Berlanga on September 14, the focus remains on what could come next. Berlanga, though confident, is seen by many as not being in the same league as Canelo. Fans and pundits alike are divided, with some excited for Berlanga's big opportunity and others wishing for a more challenging opponent like Crawford or Benavides. In the end, the boxing world is on the edge of its seat, waiting to see how these storylines unfold. Whether it's Canelo vs. Crawford, Canelo vs. Benavides, or another unexpected twist, one thing is clear, the stakes have never been higher.